and welcome to New Mexico Football Friday Night. Rain has soaked our state tonight and knocked out some of our coverage in an abbreviated edition of the show, so let's dive right in. On the show tonight, you wanted it, you get it. Goddard versus Rio Rancho, Clash of the Titans, Cheerleaders and Band of the Week, and of course, our Player of the Week. Oyate Knights at the Cleveland Storm, Class 5A in the house, and Stormtroopers out tonight, right? Home teams, Tyler Wilson, getting things started. Early in the first, running up the right side. Can I get some? Almost in the end zone. Nieto Jesse comes in and says, I got this, bruh. Finishes up the run, up the gut, 7 0 Cleveland Storm. Cheerleaders digging that. Onyante trying to answer. Quarterback Travis Johnson to keep, putting up some positive yards up the middle, but that's all they would get on the drive as Johnson can't find anybody, and the sack lunch is served. Storm defense getting in there and Everybody's hungry. Knights would be forced to kick and the Storm take advantage. Keon Hami hitting Wilson with a nice bomb and that would be it for the first quarter. Starting the second quarter, Hami looking for the end zone and finding Mr. Williams. Putting the Storm up 21 to nothing. Cleveland wins 48 nothing. It's a wrap. Not the kind of season 5A power La Cueva is accustomed to. Bears looking for their first win of the week and playing the Highland Hornets and Cliff Kendrick, 40 yards, touchdown, 6-0 Bears because the PAT, no good in the first. Still in the first, Kendrick again, working for 15 yards out and just give the guy a rock because he can do it. 12 to nothing, La Cueva, might as well go for two, right? Kendrick, in for the two-point conversion. La Cueva won when they scored the first touchdown because this one's a skunker, 55 to nothing, the final. Game of the week now, that means our Lawrence Gilligan here with highlights and an answer to how his keys worked for the game on both teams. Lawrence. Thank you, Van. Before we roll the highlights, here's the BIOS keys to the game. A rematch of last year's state playoff semifinals between Sandia and Volcano Vista. For Sandia, in order to beat the Hawks, they need to limit turnovers. Although the Matadors lost to Cibola last week by seven, they limited a fast-paced Cougars offense to just 131 yards. The turnovers turnovers, excuse me, was the difference in the win. As for the Hawks, they should be refreshed and ready to rock. Volcano Vista is coming off a bye week, so we'll see if they are firing on all cylinders or if they come out sluggish. Their final key is to corral big man Cameron Bean. Last week, Bean played wide receiver, quarterback, and defensive end. Stop him and force turnovers. Maybe they have a chance to win this one. So who do you think pulls out the win? Let's head to Community Stadium for the showdown between the Matadors and Hawks. Both teams ready to go in this low scoring affair. First quarter, Sandia leans on the big fella Cameron Bean to lead the Matadors down the field. He does a good job too, Bean with the tough carry at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter we go, the kicker, Paul Rosales. He's gonna put up Sandia. It's gonna make it 3-0 Matadors. Hawks could really not do anything right on offense during this game, and this doesn't help either. Quarterback Josh Williams rolling out, feeling the pressure, throwing it up. Michael Anderson comes down with the jump ball, but it's ruled incomplete. Hawks forced to punt. Meanwhile, Sandia puts together another scoring drive. Sandia leading 10-0 before the half, and they're in business. It's Barreras to Branch, moving the chains. Seven seconds to go. Well, there he is, Mr. Everything doing it. Branch with the pass to Jordan Jones for the score. Final score in this one, 40-20, Sandia. Well, Van, that's a look at the game of the week. Sandia's Cameron Bean playing defense, wide receiver, and quarterback doing everything for the Matadors. And back to you. And he even popped popcorn. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lawrence. It's Class 5A against 4A battle in Rio Rancho. Uh, in Roswell, that is. Rio Rancho, the Class 5A favorite against defending 4A champion Goddard. Goddard's Cameron Neff dropping back, finding Mitchell Weathers in the left corner. The touchdown. Home team going up 7 0 early. Rio Rancho's Easton. Brewer looking to his left and right and got an open player downfield with Goddard's Cody French coming up for the tackle and then Cody French again this time finding Adam Gomez and Gomez is going to take it all the way to the end zone 14 to nothing Goddard Goddard 
taking a 14 to nothing lead at home, but Rio Rancho coming back. Tristan Foley, diving catch in the end zone. Barrera's pass, sparkling. Rio Rancho comes all the way back from 14 down to win it, 28 to 21. Yum, food on the grill. Players having their game faces on. Yep, that's Mayfield at Carlsbad. Mayfield's Kavika Johnson, first quarter, short drop back, letting it fly, connecting with Elijah Stout for the quick score, 6-0. Mayfield, caveman trying for three, but it's blocked, blocked, blocked. Stout to recover, the recovery for the Trojans, and it's their ball. Then it's Johnson coming in again, handing off to Philip Eli, going up the gut for the score, 14-0 after the two-point conversion. Mayfield goes on to get the victory, 43-29. As far as on the high school scoreboard, how about this? Manzano going down to Leon Williams Stadium and taking care of Clovis by one. Hobbs down 3-0 after knocking off Roswell. Mariarty and Boleyn needed overtime to decide who was going to win between those two. And Pius nipping Los Alamos by two. Santa Rosa beating Robertson 24-8. to Time out is called More Football Friday is on the way. The Academy Chargers make the trip to Spartan Country with plans to walk away with more than a victory. And it's a dog and cat fight at Full Dog Bowl. Valencia Jaguars in Titletown. You know, Artesia. That's when we come back. First, check out our cheerleaders of the week, followed by our player of the game. This week's Player of the Game honors go out to senior Clovis Wildcats running back Kamal Cass. On Saturday afternoon versus the Highland Hornets, Cass rushes for 146 yards, scoring five touchdowns, including a 96-yard kickoff return for a touchdown in a 68-25 win over the Hornets.